Have you ever wondered about the advancements in military aviation technology? Today we'll explore how South Korea is revolutionizing the field with their KF-21 Barame fighter jets. The KF-21 project is a bold initiative that aims to redefine the future of South Korean military aviation. The objective is clear and compelling, to replace the aging fleet of the South Korean Air Force with a new breed of advanced fighter jets. This project is not just about upgrading hardware, it's about ushering in a new era of technological excellence. The South Korean government has committed to this cause wholeheartedly, allocating a substantial budget of 238.7 billion won for the construction of 40 KF-21 jets within this year alone. This not only reflects South Korea's resolve to stay ahead in the field of military aviation, but also its commitment to fortify national security with cutting-edge technology. The KF-21 fighter jet's introduction is a testament to South Korea's relentless pursuit of innovation. It is expected to replace the F-4 and F-5 fleets, signaling a significant shift in the South Korean Air Force's operational capabilities. The KF-21 is more than a replacement. It is a step forward, a leap into the future of military aviation. The engineering and manufacturing phase of the KF-21 project is an intricate process, involving the coordination of resources, expertise, and state-of-the-art technology. This phase is expected to conclude in 2026, marking a significant milestone in the project's timeline. With the expected conclusion of the engineering and manufacturing phase in 2026, the KF-21 is set to become the backbone of the South Korean Air Force. This is not just a new chapter in South Korea's military aviation history, it's the dawn of the KF-21 era. Now, let's delve into the features that make the KF-21 a standout in the realm of military aviation. The KF-21 Borame fighter jet, designed to serve as the backbone of the South Korean Air Force, is a marvel of modern engineering. It comes equipped with advanced avionics that are at the forefront of technological innovation. These avionics not only enhance the operational capabilities of the aircraft, but also provide a distinct edge in terms of intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance. But the prowess of the KF-21 doesn't stop there. The fighter jet boasts the capacity to carry advanced precision weapons. This capability, coupled with its state-of-the-art avionics, allows the KF-21 to deliver lethal strikes with pinpoint accuracy, making it a formidable adversary in any aerial combat scenario. Yet while the KF-21 already stands tall among its contemporaries, efforts are underway to further enhance its competitiveness on the international market. South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration, together with Korea Aerospace Industries, are in the process of testing missiles to mount on the KF-21. These tests are not just about adding more firepower to the aircraft. They are about ensuring that the KF-21 remains a relevant and potent force in an ever-evolving global defense landscape. The KF-21 is more than just a fighter jet. It embodies South Korea's commitment to maintaining a strong defense posture, and its determination to push the boundaries of military aviation technology. It is a testament to the country's technological prowess and its ambition to be a leading player in the global defense industry. With these cutting-edge features, the KF-21 is poised to mark a significant leap in military aviation technology. With such advanced features, how does South Korea plan to produce and deploy these fighter jets? That's a question that's been on many minds and today we'll explore the answer. South Korea has set an ambitious goal for the production of the KF-21 Boramai fighter jets. The plan is to build 40 of these advanced aircraft this year alone. That's a significant undertaking considering the complexity and the cutting-edge technology involved in the creation of these jets. But South Korea has proven time and again that it is up to such challenges. The production plan doesn't stop there. The South Korean Air Force aims to have 120 Boramai jets by the year 2032. That's a fleet of fighter jets equipped with state-of-the-art avionics and capable of carrying advanced precision weapons. It's clear that South Korea is serious about modernizing its air force, and the KF-21 is set to be the backbone of this modernized fleet. But how about deployment? When will we see these jets in action? The timeline for this is also pretty aggressive. The engineering and manufacturing phase is set to conclude in 2026, with the first deployment planned for the second half of that year. This means that in just a couple of years, we could see these advanced fighter jets taking to the skies, ready to protect South Korea's interests. The KF-21 is expected to replace the Air Force's aging fighter fleet, specifically the F-4 and F-5 fleets, 
marking a significant upgrade in South Korea's aerial defense capabilities. The timeline indeed indicates a speedy production and deployment process, underscoring South Korea's commitment to strengthening its air force. Such an ambitious project requires significant funding and has understandably sparked international interest. The KF-21 program is a substantial undertaking, estimated to cost around 8.8 .8 trillion won. This financial burden is shared among several key players, South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration or DAPA and Korea Aerospace Industries or KAI are the primary contributors, yet, they're not alone in this venture. Indonesia has also pledged to support the program marking a significant step in international cooperation. However, this collaboration has not been without its hurdles. Since 2017, Indonesia has been grappling with payment delays. These struggles underscore the immense financial commitment required to bring a cutting-edge fighter jet like the KF-21 into production. Yet despite these obstacles, the program has not lost its allure on the global stage. Poland and the United Arab Emirates have both expressed interest in the KF-21 program. These nations, with their own diverse defense needs and priorities, see potential value in the advanced capabilities of the KF-21. Their interest serves as a testament to the appeal and competitiveness of the KF-21, even in the face of financial challenges and rigorous manufacturing timelines. Moreover, this international interest could have far-reaching implications for Korea Aerospace Industries or KAI. The company has a strong track record in arms export, ranking as the ninth largest arms exporter worldwide from 2018 to 2022. The KF-21 could very well be the next feather in their cap, boosting South Korea's standing in the global defense industry. Despite the challenges, the KF-21 program continues to generate interest, indicating its potential to become Korea Aerospace Industries' next export success. This underlines the significance of the KF-21 not just for South Korea's defense, but also for its position on the global stage. The KF-21 is more than a fighter jet, it's a symbol of South Korea's growing influence and technological prowess in the defense sector. The KF-21 is more than a fighter jet, it's a symbol of South Korea's growing presence in the global arms market. In the span of just four years from 2018 to 2022, South Korea emerged as the ninth largest arms exporter on the world stage. Its top customers during this period were the Philippines, India, and Thailand, nations with whom it shares strategic and economic ties. This surge in South Korea's arms export is not a mere coincidence but a result of its strategic investments in defense technology and manufacturing capabilities. The KF-21 with its cutting-edge avionics and advanced precision weaponry is a prime example of these investments. The introduction of the KF-21 into the global market is set to significantly bolster South Korea's arms export. The jet's advanced features and competitive pricing make it an attractive option for countries looking to upgrade their aging fighter fleets. Moreover, the KF-21's appeal isn't limited to South Korea's traditional customer base. Countries like Poland and the United Arab Emirates have already expressed interest in the program. This broadening of interest signifies the potential of the KF-21 to break into new markets and further solidify South Korea's position as a major arms exporter. As we await the deployment of the KF-21, the fighter jet already promises to elevate South Korea's standing in the global arms market. It's not just about the sale of a product but the export of military technology, engineering prowess, and a vision for the future of defense. In essence, the KF-21 is not just a fighter jet, it's a representative of South Korea's growing influence on the world stage.